Hi, my name is Alexandria Bachelor, um, and I will be talking about my hair story called Natural Growth. All right. In college, my hair was having an identity crisis. My ends were loose waves while my roots were transforming into kinky, tight, unfamiliar curls. After finally severing my last ties to colonized beauty, I had no idea how much my hair transition would influence my work from artist to designer to a, a hybrid artist designer. I had always drawn racially ambiguous women with straight hair. I struggled with understanding my own cultural identity as the daughter of a black American mother with Alabamian roots and a black immigrant father with Jamaican British heritage. As I transitioned from chemically processed hair to natural kinks and tight curls, my doodles remapped the perception of my beauty and embraced my blackness. My characters in turn had become distinctly black with kinkier hair and fuller features. At SUNY University at Buffalo, two black professors and comic artist duo, John Jennings and Stacey Robinson helped me realize that my past work was inherently ever futurist, exploring the intersection of African diaspora culture with technology. However, my marriage of flesh and machine represented my synthetically straightened hair and disconnection to my cultural roots. So my work transitioned yet again as I fused my characters with nature. Sketch after sketch depicted various women with full lips, beauty marks, and kinky natural hair that would transform into clouds, water, and foliage. These natural elements represented the versatility of my natural hair as I discovered that my twists could evolve into twist outs and finally a pineapple bun right before wash day. It didn't take long for me to recognize these sketches were the beginning of unconscious self-portraits, exploring aspects of black female identity and beauty that have historically been subdued. As I transitioned from fine art to graphic design, I wanted to create a memorable personal brand that reflected who I was as a black female creative and what better way to represent me than with a logo self-portrait featuring my full lips, iconic beauty mark and natural hair. By choosing the name Foxy Design, inspired by Pam Greer's Foxy Brown, who redefined black beauty and womanhood in the 1970s, I chose to market myself in a way that challenged white-centric design, professionalism, and work culture, and uplifted minority-driven narratives, identities, and safe spaces. And so I assumed my role as a visual storyteller, my medium branding. Using my black female identity as my secret weapon, I was able to relate to and truly understand the marginalized audiences for whom I was building brands. For Black Jose Press, an independent press that amplified black and brown female creators, I created a logo mark that used our African roots to exude the brand's friendly, relatable, empowering, feminine, and ethnic qualities. For the Schomburg's annual Black Comic Book Festival, I designed a logo that alluded to a historical organization that allowed self-regulation for comic book content, thus paralleling the intention of the festival to highlight Black creators who would otherwise be unseen by mainstream media. And for Get in the Robot, I built an anime brand that visually visualized a destination for anime-fueled yet socially aware escapism that departed from a traditionally elitist, toxic, and predominantly white-centric space. Yet, throughout my career, I struggled with separating art from design and finally gave in to my true hybrid form. While other designers obsessed over typefaces, I had an affinity for illustration. Soon I was designing original characters and stories that revisited Afrofuturistic themes, this time using the combination of humanity with machinery to reconnect with my ancestral roots. In my graphic novel, my Afro cyborg protagonist was not running from her identity, but rather learning to accept it despite archaic societal pressures. Now a proud naturalista, inserting myself into environments that once rejected beauty, that contradicted white-centric standards, I wanted to redesign pre-existing characters as Black. But instead of building a new predominantly Black world, I redesigned the space to accommodate these reimagined Black leads so that they could coexist with their white Asian counterparts. Because in reality, we shouldn't have to separate from society in order to be our true selves and deserve to occupy the same space as everyone else without having to dilute our identities to do so. And so I tell my story to inspire other young Black artists and designers to develop their own creative identities in a way that speaks to who they are as individuals. By doing so, you will learn so much more about who you are and how your unique story can guide your journey 
in making an impact big or small in your own communities using your craft. Thank you. Thank you. So can you, do you wanna give a shout out for like your create like your creative name um, or do you wanna- oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> follow me. I'm like so weird about plugging my stuff. Yes, follow me at Foxy Design on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, I'm most active and uh, find me on LinkedIn. My full name is Alexandria Bachelor. Um, I'd love to connect. Thank you so much. <laughs>